For this question, we're asked to factorize x squared minus 6x plus 5. And if you recall, the method is we need two numbers that the product is 5 and the sum is negative 6. So two numbers multiplied together gives me 5, and when I add them, gives me negative 6. Let's think about that product first of all. I could have 1 multiplied by 5, that will give me 5. It could also be negative 1 by negative 5, that will also give me an answer of plus 5 here. But when I add them, when I find the sum, that sum needs to be negative 6. Well, 1 plus 5 is 6, not negative 6. But here we have negative 1 minus another 5, which would give me the negative 6. So when I factorize this, I would get x minus 1 and x minus 5.